It was quite the mysterious pattern we found in millions of lines of government data. A repeating address tied to fake businesses. Fulcrum Asset Management Incorporated, Urban Information Technologies Incorporated. All traced to one Denver office. Kenyon Plaza. A scam in which these bogus and defunct companies were approved for COVID relief in excess of $2 million. Let's see what we find or who we find. All tied to a man named Greg Folk. An accountant whose name we found in the paper trail leading to that one office. Turns out folk worked inside Suite 3600 until 2017. And I can find that someone using Greg's name or maybe Greg himself in 2020 revived a significant amount of businesses and got a lot of COVID money, COVID relief money. Are you aware of any of this? No. You're not aware of any no, of this? He was really sick all of 2020. Folk's wife told us in August he died of COVID complications in November of 2020. That's a few months after all the bogus companies in his name got COVID money. Eliza Folk told us then a scammer likely used her husband's name. He had some clients that were very unhappy and he had some clients that he had stopped mm. working with because they were kind of shystery. But what happened to all of that money while Folk was alive? we can finally tell you. According to court records, Greg Folk resurrected even more businesses than we had discovered, 40 in all that were promised nearly $3 million in COVID relief funds. Folk had deposited $2.5 million in 24 different accounts by the time a bank caught on and froze the accounts. The government recovered most of the cash, $2.275 million. What happened to the rest of it? The secret to that may have died with Greg Folk. This is a crime not only against the finances of the American government, but this is a crime against the health of the people. Robert Pence spent 30 years as a top FBI agent and has seen it all, including times when fraudsters take advantage of a crisis. That's not unusual. But what uh, is unusual is the size of it this time. I want to talk with you. Okay. I want to sit down with you, show you what we found, Absolutely. and maybe you can help us find out what's I would what's real. to figure what, out who did that. Eliza, just one second, please. Just one quick question. We never heard from Eliza Folk again, but the FBI named her in court documents, saying an internet connection registered in her name was used to conduct most of the transactions. She's also named as a principal on one of the entities that got funding. To be clear, Folk's wife was never named as a suspect. A case involving deceit and millions of dollars all concluding with the ultimate end. Charges won't be filed because Greg Folk is dead. Jeremy Hohola, 9 News.